Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to cut a metal chain. This will be an easy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. As you can see right over here, I have a metal chain and uh, I need to remove a few of the links from this chain. Okay, so I mean, I can remove um, up to eight links from the chain and it'll still be long enough, but I don't want to remove all eight links. So instead, I'm probably going to remove three links. I just want to shorten it just by a bit, so I'll remove three of the links from the chain. Now, as you can see, I have it laid out on a piece of uh, like a concrete slab over here, a paver. Um, you want it to be on something firm because you want it to be nice and firm and you need a way to secure each side. I recommend using like a clamp or a vise on each side, but I've actually attached just this little cable cuff that I had lying around um, and I'm gonna sort of put my foot on either side, but make sure you are far away from it because uh, you wanna be far away from the tools. Now, what can you use to actually make the cut? into the metal chain. Well, I will be using an angle grinder with a metal blade on it, okay? A metal cutting wheel on it. Um, but you can also use something like this, which is like a reciprocating saw. Um, and you can use this with a metal blade on it. You can even use just a manual handsaw with a metal blade on it. Um, anything that cuts metal is fine, and you can use this to cut any type of metal. Um, I actually just cut the lock off of this because I could not remember the code for the lock. So I cut the lock off of this and I just want to remove some links. So I use the same method to cut the actual lock. Anything that you want to cut that's around this thickness and is metal, you can use it. Extremely important, wear protection um, for your lungs and for your eyes. Now I actually have my glasses on which is going to protect my eyes. You can wear safety goggles too but I have pretty big glasses and I wear my respirator because I've got to protect my lungs. Very important. So I'm going to put it on now meaning my voice will be a little bit muffled. I'm going to get over here. Let's flip my camera screen up so I can see what you see. And first step, put on your respirator. Extremely important, okay? Um, you always got to protect your lungs. You only get one set of lungs, okay? So as you can hear, my respirator's on. Now, make sure my angle grinder is working properly. I have attached the back with the extension cord just like this so that it's not gonna get unplugged. Let's just do a test. Okay, we're good to go. Now what I'm gonna do, step on one side here, step on the other side here, stretch it out. As you can see, it's nice and stretched out. Uh, we're probably going to make the cut right here. So I'm going to remove this link right here. This should be okay. Get the angle grinder, the cutting tool, and you want to go slowly. Now you're probably going to see some sparks. So don't be alarmed. But when you see the sparks, you want to make sure that behind you where the sparks will be flying, your feet and everything are clear of that. That's why I'm standing on top of it. So let's get this cut, okay? Okay, you know what? Change of plans. I'm gonna move my foot a little bit further forward because I'm getting some sparks to the back of my ankle there and I don't wanna get burned. So my foot's gonna go a bit further forward. Let's cut. Almost done. So. As you can see right there, one side is cut, we gotta cut the other side. Okay, I'm gonna just pull it a little bit tighter so I can get to the other side. You don't have to go really quickly. I like to go nice and slowly just to keep everything controlled, okay? Let's do it. Alright, so as you can see we've cut it on one side. On this side though it's just hanging by just a little piece. So I'm gonna get that piece on top now and let's cut it loose. Come on! Okay. Right now it's literally just hanging by a thread. I'm going to see if we can break it off. Okay, at this point, I can keep cutting, but it's already opened up, as you can see. Sorry about that. It's already opened up, as you can see. So we could just remove the chain link like that, and we've removed the chain link. Okay, I have my pieces that I cut off here. 
This is the length, more than the length that I'll need. You want to, you know, you can leave a little bit extra. It's no big deal. And that's it. Now, like I said, you can use this process to pretty much cut anything that's metal. And that is around this thickness, okay? Be careful. Do not touch this piece that you cut. It will be hot. Even this piece that's close by might be a little bit warm or even hot. But do not touch that piece. That's going to be hot. Because you just cut it, okay? You can use this process to cut anything. Well, you know, if you need to cut your chain link fence, if you need to cut a lock that you forgot the combination of, whatever the case is, if it's metal and if it's this thickness or even a little bit thinner, it, this will work. And that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.